Welcome, Gravel fans, to the Saturday lunchtime treat you've waited for all week. Yes, it's the very best in professional wrestling. Coming up later, a great top-of-the-bill contest. But they're already in fighting mood down there, so let's get right alongside our man at the ringside as we join Kent Walton. Yes, indeed. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, Grapple fans. Welcome to the Albert Hall here in Bolton, Lancashire, for another freestyle session. A heavyweight bout starts us up with Skull Murphy versus Marty Jones. This could be quite a humdinger over to Brian Crabtree, our master of ceremonies. Good afternoon, wrestling fans, and welcome once again to a lunchtime opening of professional wrestling. It's an heavyweight contest to be wrestled over six five-minute rounds. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout will decide the winner. <laughs> On my right in the right corner, would you welcome, please, the indestructible Skull Murphy! From Oldham, Lancashire, our number one, Marty Jones! And the three, Mr. Jeffrey Kay. So this should be quite about six five-minute rounds, two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide the winner. Jeff Kay in charge of the bout, the referee from Hull. Marty Jones on the right there in his usual double leotard. time. His opponent is Cull Murphy from Plymouth. Marty Jones, of course, from Oldham, Lancashire. Very popular indeed with the crowd here, like everywhere else. Second away, round one. But, uh, of course, when you're fighting against Skull Murphy, then you're pretty nearly always popular because, for some reason, he really is not the most popular, although a very, very good wrestler indeed. Skull Murphy from Plymouth at 15 and a half stone. Marty Jones from Oldham at 14 stone 12. And the ex-world mid-heavyweight champion, of course, who just lost his title a few months ago to Bull Blitzer of uh, Nuremberg, Germany. But uh, we are going to see the final eliminator in, on January the 10th on television. And that is when Jean-Pierre Auvert comes from Brussels, comes over here, the Iron Man of Europe is known, is, and to take on Marty Jones in the final eliminator on January the 10th, which if Marty wins, of course, the final of versus Paul Blitzer of Nuremberg, Germany, will be in this country in February and shown on television. But if, of course, Jean-Pierre Auvert wins, then it will naturally take place in Brussels. So Marty Jones, not on a title here this afternoon, but when we see him on January the 10th, that's when he will be in the final eliminator against the Belgian. was correct uh, a mistake I made a couple of weeks back when I still called Marty Jones to that, his last appearance the world mid heavyweight champion of course I was dead wrong the ex world mid heavyweight champion because he lost his title on television to the German from Nuremberg from Nuremberg Boblitz. so Skull Murphy with a torn ankle now on Marty Jones He's got uh, two-thirds of a stone weight advantage there, Murphy. <laughs> Incidentally, the last two or three times we've seen Marty Jones on television, we haven't seen him witnessed him using his power lock which is really something to watch that version of the Indian death lock which is uh, <laughs> really murdered for a save he showed me one day in the dressing room and I should not forget it in a hurry very very painful hold So a couple of minutes left in this first round of six. Two falls to the side. Skull, the 
referee, Jeff Kay of Hull. Scott Murphy in his usual all black strip with the white skulls and wings on the front. Quite a bit of tattooing on the upper arm as well. first round. Two main bouts here this afternoon for you. This one and John Elijah versus Casual Martin. A little later on which should equally be something worth seeing. Excellent heavyweight contest in prospect there. Notice that uh, Marty Jones is wearing a protective bandage on the right, below the right knee. He's holding on that hammerlock okay though, isn't he? 15 seconds. to bet on this bout. It's really going to be something to watch this. Murphy already warning his uh, opponent. But he finally has to get back to his corner. They're all shouting easy, but I don't know which one they mean. It's going to be easy for. I don't think it'd be easy for either of them, knowing these two fellows. Second away, round two. Round two, five rounds to go. No score, two falls to decide this one. It's Cole Murphy in the black strip on the left with a leotard. Oh. You see, there's the trouble. Jeff Kay, the referee, told Murphy to, to told um, Marty Jones to step back off the ropes. He did so, and of course, Murphy attacked. is uh, very heavily. I don't know whether it's a leather uh, wristband on that bandage or not. I'm not sure what it's for, but it's, it's certainly there. It looks ominous. Quite happy getting around just a little bit there with his opponent. Right. Murphy again on the attack. <laughs> and the face slap. We don't like that at all. Now Marty really gets moving now. trying to get all his fans behind him and doing so nicely. Jones certainly has some fans here. This is our old punch to the stomach, which we all saw at ringside, and I'm sure you saw at home. 
but the referee not uh, by any means positive of that. Very suspicious, but of course the heel of the hand. Ask him. He's just looking down at me. I, I'm not going to back him up on that. That was a punch. talking about uh, Marty Jones power lock earlier well of course the gator hold by Stoll Murphy is uh, just as dangerous a standing submission hold the gator it's his own special and it's highly lethal Just a minute to go in the second. Murphy getting pretty angry with the crowd. On the opposite side of the ring there, which uh, of course comprised mostly of Marty Jones fans. And the first public warning. First public warning to Skull Murphy. following up when told to break this man on the deck <laughs> almost on the bell now runs two Marty Jones goes over against the folding press, but after the bell. Unfortunate for him. Just too late with that one, Marty. But I think you possibly could have had him there. So lucky there for Skull Murphy getting away with that. Because Marty, I think, had that first fall with the folding press. Right after the bell. But of course, the referee didn't count to three or didn't even count to one. Not after the bell had gone. Second away, round three. Round three, four rounds to go, and still no score, therefore, because uh, Marty a bit late on the... Right after the bell on that one. There he is on the right, Marty Jones. A big, heavy bandage, protective bandage on his right calf worries me. I'm, he didn't tell me anything about it in the dressing room before the bow, but uh, it's obviously something worrying in there. Oops. And everybody of the other side of the ring trying to assure the referee that that was a, a punch. Yes, a powerful man, this Carl Murphy, no question about that. Now then, up to him for an airplane spin or landing on the top rope. Landing on the top rope. Getting the hair. Yes, that right arm comes across, very powerful, and Marty goes down again. And it's down at eight, just about up in time, but he's on the gator, there's the gator, and there it is, the submission. The Gator submission hold and Skull Murphy in just one minute, 42 seconds of round three goes ahead with the first fall. There's the Gator that we wondered whether it would happen. Well, it happened earlier than I thought. And round three, the referee gives the first submission 
to the indestructible Skull Murphy. As long as he can keep it on with a gator hole like that, he will be indestructible. Tremendous move, that is. Highly lethal. But there are three runs to go, and maybe knowing Marty Jones, he could come back into this any moment at all as we start round four. Seconds away, round four. Marty Jones staying down a bit longer than usual, trading by one fall now. There we go, all for Marty. Do think I've known so many fans turn up for one wrestler before? Mind you, he is the former world champion. And we all hope we'll be again soon. Yes, switched it nicely. He got his man unawares there. Switched it before he knew it was happening. Yes, the right knee, right on the temple. And the drop kick from the height. Drop kick for the top rope. Oh, punch. And the second and final public warning. Skull Murphy receives his second and final public warning. And that was a four out. But Marty came in a bit too early there. And it's Murphy now way off the top. But mistimes it. And lands badly for himself there. Right knee, I think. Yes, the right knee worries him. So it's Marty going in for the left knee. And there's the power lock. If he can get it on, he's got his equalizer. But it's two near the ropes. And Marty doesn't make it before Murphy clutched the bottom rope. Marty working on the right knee, which he knows has been damaged. Oh, tremendous backdrop. Really got him going to the high there, Murphy. And Marty can do it too. The follow up cross press, all part of the same hold. All part of the same move, said the referee. Let him go on with that one, but he didn't quite make it. Got a two on Lee. Yes, here comes the power lock again, or attempt at it, but again, Stole Murphy grabs the bottom rope. A little limping on that right knee now, Murphy. Just a couple of minutes to go in the fourth. Two public warnings against Murphy, but he's still leading one to nil in falls. <laughs> Offering his hand, handshake. Marty doesn't want to know. But my knee is uh, giving me great trouble. Let's shake hands and uh, just forget attacking on that right leg of mine. But I don't think Marty's going to have any. In fact, you're straight for it. Lies him across the bottom and, <laughs> and brings the, yeah, and the, comes right down onto the timekeeper's bell. And the timekeeper. Marty Jones receives his first public warning. And somewhat surprisingly, Marty Jones gets a public warning for that. And why shouldn't he? Just a minute to go. Round four. He must have known he'd get a public warning for that. Off the corner, top ropes. Straight down under the, under the, the, the bell. <laughs> Thirty seconds now. 
Oh, still worrying in that right knee. And Muddy going for it. Any possibility comes up, he'll go for it. Perfectly legally. Now, the finger interlock agreed to on one hand. But, of course, Murphy hasn't got time. It's right on the bell now. George being persuaded to go back to his corner by Jeff Kay. Finally gets there. And we can take a look at both of them there. Well, sweating a bit, but Murphy more than he, his opponent. Seconds away, round five. Round five. Barty comes with one of his rolling dives straight across the ring at the start of the fifth round. But Murphy ready for him, so he doesn't continue it. Now, with Murphy, remember, leading by one fall to nil over Marty Jones in round three, two public warnings against Murphy, one public warning against Jones. Yes, good one. Good, oh, good one by Murphy. Forearm uppercut. Even fails to grab the bottom rope as he goes. Oh, mistimed. Oh, yes. Uh, but he mistimed the third time. But he, maybe he did that intentionally too. But again, Murphy goes down holding his knee. Goes for the opposite leg. And now maybe in the center of the ring, no one near the ropes at all. Murphy can't reach the bottom rope. There's the power lock. All he has to do now is to lean back, and Murphy must give. Yes, he submitted. He submitted. One minute, 20 seconds of round five. Marty Jones, the equalizing fall. And round five in his own speciality leg lock submission. The equalizer, Marty Jones! Well, let's have a look at that move again. First of all, Marty under the ropes heavily. Watch him stop, grabbing the bottom the top rope as he brings Murphy forward. The knee comes on, timing. Marty goes down, mistimes it, but maybe intentionally, because watch now. Sidesteps beautifully. And now Murphy really worried about that knee. Anyway, it's Jones' equalizer in round five with one round to go. Seconds away for the sixth and final round. And Murphy very worried about that right knee now. One fall each, two public warnings against him, and one against this man, Marty Jones. Lee Frogs, the referee, on the way with his opponent's corner. Oh, yes, again, that's a beautiful move of Murphy's inside of the fo forearm there. A powerful arm sticks out on you. The man just runs into it. Into the center of the ring. Oops. Yes, and a drop kick sends Second Murphy right clear off. Second and final public warning to Marty Jones. And the old... And he's... That's out. Yes, no, he's out. He's disqualified in the final round. Murphy disqualified. Jones the winner. He had two public warnings against him, too. And the sixth and final round, Murphy is disqualified. The referee makes the winner, Marty Jones! Yes, his mouth bleeding pretty badly there from that last move. But uh, nothing thing like that's going to worry him. He's got the, the victory you are after against Skull Murphy. And I hope it won't be too long before we see those two again against each other. It would make quite a bout, didn't it? 
The win for Jones. And now an international heavyweight bout with power versus guile and speed coming up. But that's after this break. <laughs> 